Yo, what is up YouTube? Hope you guys are doing well. We are back after a break. If you guys don't know, in the last video I talked about qualifying for the regional finals and then uh, this past weekend the regional finals was broadcasted on the official Pokemon channel on YouTube, on Twitch, on Facebook and I'm happy to say that I qualified for the global finals. I've been really busy with prepping and stuff. Obviously there was an NDA so I wasn't allowed to talk about it but now since it was broadcasted I'm finally happy to share that. Yeah, I'm looking forward for the tournament against one of the best players in the world. But yeah, today we are playing in the XDL week six, I believe, versus Battle Room, Colin Hanger. Hello and welcome back to the Battle Room. My name is Colin. Amazing Pokemon player and uh, definitely make sure to check him out. He's uh, really, really cool. His streams are really chill. I will link everything in the description below. Before we check out our team, uh, let's just talk about Colin's roster. He has a Grimstyle, a Zapdos, Ferrothorn, Nihiligo, Hadrian, Blastoise, Togetic, Rhydon, uh, Turdinator, Komoo, and Aboma Snow. And this is the team that we're gonna bring. We have a really bulky spec ray with Snarl, with a Citrus Berry, because since I'm expecting a lot of special attacker, we have a lot of recovery with the Citrus. We have substitute if I need to kind of negate one turn of max. Um, I, I'm expecting the Zapdos, I'm expecting Blastoise, I'm expecting Night Lego, uh, Hatterene, and I feel like Spectre, especially with this bulky set, can be really, really uh, crucial for us to win. Then we have a Whimsicott. It's Coberry to tank uh, one airstream from Zapdos. Uh, we have Taunt to stop Trick Room if needed. Dazzling Gleam just to hit the Kamo if it's next to Redirection. And a Helping Hand to boost our Pokemon. This time we have a Heat Run with Flame Body, not Flash Fire, because I'm not too afraid of Fire Mons. And I feel like Flame Body can be pretty cool if he touches us with the Ferrothorn. If I just switch it in randomly and something like a Power Whip comes and we burn the Ferrothorn or the Kamo, whatever, could be really cool. And real life for because I want to hit super super hard. We have Indeedy. This Indeedy is not Psychic Surge, it's actually in a focus because I wanted to make use of Fake Out. And I'm expecting Grimstone in the lead. And with Fake Out, I can just immediately shut down Grimstone, right? In turn one. And uh, we have Imprisoned Trick Room in case Hatrin is there. Obviously, we can't taunt the Hatrin. So, Imprison will make sure that Trick Room is not going up. We have Digga Speed. This one is Salt Vest just to take the hits from Zapdos better and from Blasters as well or from. Uh, Night Lego, Hatterin, and we have Iron Hat, as I mentioned, to deal with the Grimmsnarl and have another way to deal with it other than the Heatron, right? And then this Tangle is pretty standard. I protect, Flea Powder, Energy Ball, and Rage Powder, and this one is our Redirector. If Rhydon is gonna come, I feel like Tangela is uh, gonna be really good to uh, redirect this. And yeah, I'm really excited. Let's just jump into the match. All right, here we go. Ooh, let me write down everything. Oh, there's the Rhydon actually, okay. And the Hatterene as well. So does that mean that you have one fast mode with the Grimmsnarl and Zapdos and Blastoise and then you have one slow mode, which is Trick Room obviously. So a lot of special attackers, which is nice. And I think I can handle the Rhydon because it has like really poor uh, special defense stats. I think I want to shut down the Grimmsnarl because it might come immediately. So we go with Ndidi. Also, the good thing is there's no Ferrothorn, so I don't have to worry about faking out into Iron Barbs if it's gonna switch in and then losing my Sash, right? So we go in DD, Diggersby, I think I go Spectre and Heatron. I don't know if I like this too much, because right now I'm expecting the fast move, right? Which is uh, the Zapdos, and since I didn't bring Whimsicott, that means that if he gets Air Steams up, he'll be faster, because I don't have Whims and no Tailwind. So let's see. Oh, there's Blastoise and Grimmsnarl, all right. I think I like this. He sees no Psychic Terrain. I, I wonder if he's uh, gonna notice it. Probably, right? I think he cannonates immediately. Mm, we fake out and I wanna Steel Spike. I could go a Max Quake, but Max Quake doesn't pick up the KO. It depends on how the Grimmsnarl is trained. But since I don't have a Life Orb, it doesn't KO. And if there is an Abiri Berry, we will find out, right? So it's good information for game two and three then. Take out Steel Spike into Grim. Yep. I don't think he's just going for uh, for a Shell Smash here. Like, I can't imagine him doing that. Also, he didn't switch on. That means he might be Vakanberry on the Blast Size. Because it's pretty obvious that I'm gonna run Electric Moves somewhere, right? Since I don't have Electric Pokemon. Okay, Max. Alright. So that means you're gonna Cannonate. But I'm a Salt Vest, so I'm gonna take it. Not super well, but um, reasonably. Tour talk, let's go. There is the fake out. 
Babiri? No Babiri Baron. Nice. This is most of the time a knockout. Let's go. Like, he really has to be max HP and uh, defense boosting nature, plus a lot of EVs. And I feel like he was more afraid of stuff like Spectre to not die to helping hand max strike, for example. But there is the cannonade. We take this. This is unfortunately a two hit KO. And oh, wait. He's not G Max. There's no way. Wait. Is this intentional? I don't think so. I mean, if you had Ferroth on the back, it would make sense because you want Rain up, right? Against stuff like Heatran. But I'm not sure. Oh, he didn't say anything. Maybe he didn't notice. Uh, let me Mystical Fire this guy and Max Lightning the same guy. Because I need damage off. Oh, Hurricane. Don't confuse, please. Oh, the rain is for Hurricane, maybe. Maybe. Um, oh, White Herb. Oh, that's good. Uh, Max Lightning comes off. Should do a lot of damage. But no residual damage is kind of nice. Oh, there's Max Quake. Wait, is this physical? I didn't know Blasters learns like Mudshot or... There's no way it's Earth Core. It has to be Mudshot, I think. But um, I wish I had Ally Switch here, but we don't. Can Hedron clutch this out with the Spectre? I'm not sure. I'm gonna Mystical Fire the Zapdos. I could swap, but a swap doesn't help me like too much. Unless... I go into Heatran, expect the Hurricane. That might help. I feel like I don't want to lose Digger Speed just yet. So let's see what he does. That's a really ris uh, risky switch. There's the Hurricane into... Okay, that's cool. Oh god. Is this Specs? Dude, it's not even Life Orb. Okay, there's Max Geyser into Indeedy probably, hopefully. Okay, Indeedy goes down. But that's fine, I think. Because now I get to bring in um, Spectre. Eh? We're really defensive, so we are not gonna hit super hard. But I think that's fine. Like Shadow Ball plus Heat Wave should still be enough, I wanna say. And Max is over as well. I wonder what's in the back. Probably the Ride on Right. I'm not gonna Snarl, I'm gonna Shadow Ball. I could. Sub as well, but I don't think I need to. I think I just Earth Ball, just to make sure. I, I mean, we have a Life Orb. What am I gonna hit with Heat Wave in Rain? Like, and I could miss, right? Like, why would I risk that? How many Flash Cannon is better? Yeah, Shadow Ball plus Flash Cannon should be enough. Okay, no switches, no Protects. Shadow Ball, please bring it in red. Oh god, that did nothing. Okay, we should take this. Please don't confuse me. Nice Flash Cannon, should be enough. We are Life Orb, dude. Let's go. Now he learns about the life orb, but that's fine. As long as I can win this match, I'm gonna be happy. Wow, the blasters is really annoying. But we know it's white herb, so it's probably shell smash. Oh, there's the ride on. Rizaros, dude. Let's go. German names are the best, dude. Okay, we still have Ndidi. Uh, not Ndidi, we have Digger Speed. I'm expecting this to be evil like right? It might be Sash as well. But to make sure, I'm gonna Snarl and... Flash cannon. This should... How is it enough? I mean, it's super effective, but I don't know if it's enough. Dude, I'm not sure. Let's do this. Okay, no protect. That's really good. Let's see how much this does. A lot. Hurricane into this guy. No crit. No... Okay, there's the citrus. Now he learns about citrus, but it's fine. It's super fine. Nice. No Scarf Raiden. Um... Rhydon goes down. This looks good. Zapdos is still scary, I'm not gonna lie. But the rain stops, so Heatwave should be able to do a lot of damage. I could even sub, but there's no reason to show him sub. Like, there's really no reason. I'm gonna Shadow Ball or what I do here. I think is not gonna help me. I could still go into Diggisby though. And Heatwave. Yeah, I think I like this more. Because T Ball is not gonna knock us out. Um, and I don't know if he goes for Hurricane outside of Rain. So let's see. There's Hurricane. It misses the Digger Speed. That's huge. We 
Oh, we miss as well. But it's... I think it's okay. What I could do as well is... Because he's forced to go for Heat Wave or T-Bolt, right? I don't think he goes for Heat Wave because he doesn't know we're Flame Body. We just Rock Slide and Heat Wave. Like, if I can connect one Heat Wave, that's enough, I think. This Hurricane misses again. This should be game now. My only question is... Like, all this Zapdos did was go for um, Hurricane, right? It might actually be uh, Choice Specs. Because it makes perfect sense, right? With the Blastoise, it's not G-Max. So you're setting Rain and then your Specs Zapdos just comes in and hits all the Hurricanes because it's in Rain, right? That was a crazy game one. Now he knows that we have Fake Out though. So I won't be able to surprise him again. But at the same time, I wonder if he brings Hatterene now. Because Heatron was a problem for him once Blastoise was uh, down. I kind of want to have Whimsicott in the back. Just so that I don't get outsped. And Digaspi in the back sounds pretty good as well. I could lead it again though. Because it hits everything, right? I can change the weather as well. There's no residual damage. What if I go Spectre? Like Indeedee Spectre? No, I don't like that. I like Indeedee Diggersby. Hydra might be bad against the Blastoise that's going to be in the back. Uh, Spectre was pretty good though. Like with the Citrus Berry, we were able to heal up. The Zapdos just could come as well and just go for Airstreams. Uh, I'm going with Spectre. I want to bring Wimspot in the back. I feel like I need damage output. Like, let's think about the last game. If I didn't have Spectre and instead had something like Whimsicott, we wouldn't be able to win, right? Like, the Shadow Ball did so much damage to the Blastoise that already was at plus one, to the Rhydon, to the Zapdos. Okay, there is this lead. All right, all right, all right. So, the good thing... Oh, there's one good and one bad thing. There's Rhydon, right? Rhydon has Lightning Rod. I don't want to forget about that. So he might think that I'm just going for a Fake Out and a Max Lightning. But what he does is just switch in the Rhydon to outsmart my attempt to outsmart him. So let's see if I can outsmart his attempt to outsmart me. Yeah, I think that's the term. Anyways, what I'm going to do here is I Fake Out the two kit, pick, and I go for... Max Quake. Because this should still do a lot of damage. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't. Okay, well, that's fine. We get Max Quakes off. Does Togetic learn Ally Switch? It should, right? Like, it's Togetic, his brother. Ally Oh, it doesn't. Oh, that's huge. Okay, there's the Max. The good thing is, he's not going for um, Shell Smash. We're going for Max Quake. So we're boosting our special defense stats. I think this Blossoms will have a hard time to get rid of the DSP. Because I can just change the terrain as well. Never mind. Never mind. That's... That's really good. Let's see, we fake out. We go home X Quake, so we're kind of negating the Helping Hand. Oh, did that a crit? That did so much. Holy, holy. Okay, it's not. There's the geyser. Please don't crit. Oh no! <laughs> Wait. Wait, it's not a crit. I wanna know why. Guys, this has to be physical. There's no way it's not. I didn't bring it in torrent range. We didn't see life orb. Blasters, what are your attack stats? 83. Oh god, only two points less than uh, special attack. Do we have earthquake? You do. Mud shot? You don't. This is physical. Oh god, this explains so much. Oh man. I don't think we can win this. Dude, physical blast toys. Oh god. Okay. Um I feel really stupid. So, can I win this? I don't think so, right? I could go for a substitute and try to do some things, but at the end of the day, he'll still win uh the game two. And even if I get the substitute off, he'll know what the substitute going into game three. So, I have to believe in Tangela, I think. Oh man. Oh man. I'm just playing because I, I'm thinking. Uh, actually, I timed out. 
I'm just what I just want to know what the other moves he has. Like there's follow me definitely. There is um, helping hand. He probably thinks that I still think he's uh, special. But now he probably realizes that I have to realize that he's physical, right? There is the yawn. Okay, this is good to see because I wanted to know about this. And the good thing is, we bring the same exact four than game one. Oh man, how I how am I gonna win this? Physical blasters, dude. I have so much special attack hate. Like snarl, mystical fire. The spectre is not even modest. It's like Palm, I think, which raises special defense and uh, lowers attack. Kind of mystical fire again and flash cannon. Just see if there is a protect somewhere. Oh, but Beery Berry. Oh god, that's that's really good. I'm really glad that I didn't forfeit. Because that's really good to know. Still does so much. Okay, but Beery Berry on Toga Tick. But Beery Physical. Blast Toys. Uh, with EQ. I wonder if it has. Okay, it has Shell Smash because of White Herb. You have Earthquake. You have a Water Move. And you should have an Ice Move, I think. What does it learn as an Ice Move? Avalanche, Ice Punch? It does. Of course there's not an Eevee Light on Togetic, oh, and Togetic because he already has a Rhydon. You can't use two. Because I have no clue how we're gonna win this. There's the Helping Hand. And now I definitely see the move. It's probably Waterfall. Liquidation. Okay. We... Hang on, with the Focus Sash. Uh, I don't think it was necessary to show him our focus search. But I'm gonna think now. What am I gonna lead? Toga, Tick, and Tulpok. Tangela is not bad. We know there's no safety goggles so far. So I could go Tangela and Digger Speed, for example. And I shouldn't go down to an ice move. Because Tangela is really thick. But at the same time, if he just switches up to Hatterene, it's gonna be really bad. I don't have anything to stop Trick Room. I definitely need Hattering, that's for sure. I'm just afraid that he... I'm not Hattering, I need Tangela. I'm just afraid that he might switch up to either Zapdos or um, Hattering. He can also do the same because he he saw that I don't have anything against Blastoise, right? Besides the Tangela that's sitting there. But let's see. If I go Tangela in the lead, I'm completely disrespecting Turic Room. But maybe it's okay. What if I go Tangela and Heatran? Is that terrible? Probably not. I want Diggers to be in the back. And the Spectre as well. Dude, if Trigrom is gonna come, I just have to win with Diggers B, I think. And Redirection. Actually, oh, I don't have the time. I don't have the time to switch up. But I think I'll be hopefully fine. Let's see. I'm leading Heatran into a Blast size. This looks really silly. But I have my reasons, I think. Because once I make Seed Spike, this blaster is not going to do enough. And I can't just change the weather as well with uh, Max Flare. So let's see, there's Turtok and Turtok again. Alright, so there's one good thing and one bad thing. No, actually this is fine, I think. Because I can't just Sleep Powder as well. We know there's no safety goggles, no ally switch. If follow me comes out, um, I don't think Turtok can take the combination. And even if it does, we're not going to go down because I go for Steel Spike, right? So we go for Sleep Powder and Max Steel Spike into the Toga Tick. Yes, let's see. If he goes for Shell Smash, that could be tricky. If Toga Tick uh, survives this, or if we miss. But let's see. Okay, there is the Follow Me, alright. Can we pick up the KO here? I wonder. Even if we don't, I think it's still fine. Please. Oh, we don't. But it should be fine, I think. Don't miss. There is the shell smash, alright. Just don't miss. 
Okay. Oh god, this is terrible. Bro, Tangela, I need you once. And you miss. Okay, it's I think it's still fine. Because what I'm gonna do is I Actually is it fine? To be honest, I don't think so. But I have options. The thing is, Toothic probably goes for a helping hand to boost True Talk with an ice move, right? I'm gonna protect here. And I go for a max flare. Oh, this is really, really greedy. But I think I have to play like this. Like, I don't see him going for um, the water move here. Max redirection. Oh, the miss was so bad. I think if we just connect there, I'm in a much better spot because uh, Max Heal Summit plus one doesn't pick up Angela. We protect. No helping hand. Oh, really good play. Don't die, Heatran. Okay, Heatran hangs on. But at what cost? At what cost? Oh, that's really bad. I wish I just sleep on it here, but I was expecting helping hand, right? Because like helping hand plus plus one max seed spike, uh, not seed spike, max hailstorm definitely picks up Tangela. Because I have a lot of special defense investment. There is the Zapdos. All right, so all you gotta do is max Geyser and Hurricane. And I don't take the combination. Dodok still has two max turns. Dude, I'm gonna lose to Blastoise. Physical Blastoise. Oh, what I could do though, is I Sleep Powder and I Max Guard now. If he's crazy, he goes for Max Guys and Tangela and Hurricane into Tangela. I think that's your best play, honestly. Yeah, he probably does that. But I don't have another option. I don't. Because like right now, you don't care about Heatran, right? No matter what Heatran does. Oh, never mind. Please. Don't hit. You miss. Please hit. Oh, we are back. We are back. Hold. This turn is asleep. Okay, that's really good. This is really, really good. If the Max guy that just goes into uh, the Tangela and follows up by a Hurricane, we just lose immediately. But right now, there's still a chance. Like, we're in Sun, right? So Hurricane is not gonna... It's like a 50% accurate move. So I could try to switch. But I could also just stay in. Because I'm not gonna die. So I... Sleep Powder the Zappy. Or I just Energy Ball. The Turtop. Because Sun will be up. There will. There's no way that this uh, blast is gonna change the weather. I'm just gonna heat wave. Yeah, let's see. Look as fast asleep. Hurricane misses again. Oh god, this is huge. Heat wave does a lot of damage to Zapdos. Can we hit another one, please? We don't. Um, but I think that's fine. I'm just gonna energy ball and I might protect. Spectre looks pretty good here as well. Am I okay with the losing Heatran? The thing is I need redirection, right? I just need it. So I'm gonna heat wave. And as long as, okay, this is phenomenal. As long as I have my Tangela. Oh, it misses again. Oh, this is so huge. This is so, so huge. Look at this damage. Energy ball should be able to clean. Heatran goes down, we get a free switch in into the Digga Spee, I can just uh, redirect and Earthquake, oh this is so good. Oh my god, dude. Tangela, I hated you, I'm not gonna lie, for missing that one Sleep Powder in turn one, but you dodged like three Hurricanes. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Oh my god. This felt like a loss, I'm not gonna lie. We don't know what's in the back, but it doesn't matter, I think. Digga Spee. Into Rhydon, there's Ritzaros. Oh god. How we lost this, I'm not gonna lie. Crank that. What a crazy game, dude. Let's see how much of this does. This should be enough, I think. Let's go, Tangela. I love you. Oh god, GG to Colin. What an amazing set. One of the craziest and best sets I think I had so far in XDL. If you enjoyed the match, please make sure to leave a follow. I'm gonna link Colin's socials in the description. Definitely make sure to check him out. He's an amazing player. And 
Yeah, what an amazing match, man. We'll be back with week seven against Jamie Boyd. So I'm really looking forward to that as well. But that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the match and take care. Love you all. Bye bye.